Okay, back again. So now everything should be set up. We should be ready to go. <clears throat> Please get comfortable. This will take you a while. For me, it's 14 hours. Okay? That's no lie. Um, but it's 14 hours in build time, and I got a 3 to 1 ratio on this crappy recording software. By the way, I'm using, uh, record, record my desktop, which is, um, a backend to GTK record my desktop, and it's terrible. I made a desktop recorder, which I'll tell you about later on, but I can't do it because of frame buffer support. So, let's say now we are here in the sources directory. Um, let's tar xf not verbose okay it goes a little faster that way so we can get these sources out um there's a popular conception too that there's little people off um a few people off and i want to show you that right now let's say make directory we'll call it nothing okay mm -hmm. make made gear Make directory nothing. I want to see the into nothing. I'm going to show you something really quick. Let's say make directory v. Um, we'll call it package. Okay, one through six. Okay, see this is your source directory. Okay, these are your packages, bin utilities, gcc, whatever. So, the popular way, to, not popular, but the way to do it is, you would say tar xvf, your whatever, okay, and then you would cd into your extracted package, okay, so in our case let's say it's package 1, okay, then after that what you have to usually do is, and especially with GCC, glibc, and uh, bin utils and whatnot, it requires building an outside directory, or a clean build directory, so you would make a directory, v, um, you would be in the source directory now, you'd make a directory called, say, pack-build, okay, up there. And then you would cd back up into pack-build, pack okay, and this is where you would build your sources at now, okay. Now, I want you to see where exactly you are, and oof, you are not in, like, some weird folder you're at the same level as all the other packages okay so it, that may trip a couple people up it tripped me up um, the first time when I built and I just want to say don't let it trip you up okay so now bin utils is extracted let's see the in the bin utils 2.21 um, SBUs I will go over that in a second first it says we have to make a directory and we'll call it bin utils it's back up. Bin utils um, build. Okay. Use your tab quite often. It'll save you from typing. Bin utils dash build. And the less that you actually have to type down, the greater chance you have of actually getting a successful install, which means less uh, less typing, <laughs> and um, you're more prone to syntax errors. Okay. So use your tab, please. Say bin utils dot. 2.21 we'll say configure tab say uh, that's a new line but we're going to say space new line okay all new lines will be uh, preceded by a space we have to say target is going to equal dollar sign lfs underscore target um prefix equals tools okay space new line let's say Disable NLS Disable Dash W error Something's not right there R over R over Okay Two, it's not also uh, It's not quite imperative Or very imperative for you to actually check and read every line Okay Um what I like to do is I like to pick points and you hear me call them out 
I like to pick points, I would say something like A over I and disabled, okay? So I know that this is correct over here according to the book. I look at the book and I see A over I. And I will also say something like T over O in W error. And I look at the book and that says it's correct. So my chances of uh, syntax errors are slim with that. Let's say run, enter. Um, just little techniques to help you out. Um, and sometimes too it does help to actually say that way you can hear it and when you hear it you can um, also uh, let's say make w when you hear what you're saying you can kind of like cross check a little bit better too because it's audible right yeah <laughs> so <clears throat> um, SBUs system build units you vets know about system build units my SBUs is like one to five so I would say that for every one minute um, indicated by uh, the SBU count it would be five minutes in build time for me okay so gauge your SBUs that way uh, you would be able to say go do something else while this is going on on bigger SBUs and on smaller SBUs you know you, you kind of get a heads up on how far how long it's going to take for you to get where you have to go. Um, for example, uh, if you have a system build unit of say five SBUs and you know that your SBU count would be, uh, I don't know, three minutes per SBU, if uh, your computer is just not doing anything, it's hanging, um, maybe with some text on the screen, but just hanging there for say four hours, you know you may have a problem and you might want to start over or figure out what the problem is. Okay. Okay. And uh, had some great to say about SBUs. Totally forgot it. <laughs> I totally forgot it. Had something else to say about SBUs. Uh, oh, SBUs are gauged by. Well, I think they're gauged by the minute you extract a package to the minute that you get rid of the source. Okay. So can kind of count that okay and um, that's that's all on SBUs that's all on SBUs now uh, this tutorial is going to be leaning more towards the x86 underscore 64 or for us normal people that would be called a 64-bit uh, install okay um, but According to the text here, after we type in this make command, it says if building on x86 64. Okay, create a sim link. So this can be used for 32 bit as well. As for the documentation up there somewhere in the pages, I don't remember where it's at. But on the other hand, this is x86 64 disk. So which shouldn't really make too much of an issue. Um, we're just using the uh, packages off of it, so we should actually, we might be okay. But this is a 64 that I'm going to build on. So, uh, saying that, this is for a tool chain, we have to set in a case statement for if we are 64. Case dollar sign you name dash m in. Okay. And then, I don't know why I do on new lines like this, but it's okay. I just like to. <laughs> Uh, we'll say x86-64 make dir verbose. We're gonna say tools tab, okay, lib, and link symbolic verbose lib. We wanna link that to tools lib 64, okay. Uh, double semis, and then we'll close it with case backwards, which is ESAC. Okay, done. Um, and then we can say make install. Okay. Now you may see it says uh, GCC or bin utils pass one, pass two. It's a layering process. Okay. And and uh, it's similar to say painting a wall. Okay. You have to put the primer on, you put the paint on, and you put the second paint on, and then you go away. Or making a cake uh, or a great great bag of nachos. You know what I'm saying? You put some down, you put some goop, and you put more down. Same thing with bin utils and a lot of these packages. Um, 
so what we do is we build a little functionality a little bit at a time and then we build uh, dependencies and then we build more and then we build a little bit more and then we finally we're done okay okay so the way that we do this is you would say go up um, out of the extracted package to be back at the sources level okay and then you would say remove I'm going to do this quietly you're only going to remove your uh, bin utils let's say your extracted package and your build directory that you created okay and um, don't remove your source your tarball okay because you're going to need it again for your other passes so let's say tar x f g c c dot tar g z okay it's going to be 5.0 SBUs, so for me, at uh, 1 to 5, I would say this would be about 25 minutes. And I'll cut the video after this one, so I can encode. It takes, uh, it takes 3 minutes to 1, or it takes 1 minute, 3 minutes of encoding time to 1 minute of real video for me, so... It's going to take a while. <laughs> it's okay though, I'm having a lot of fun. Super, super duper time. Okay, that's all done. Let's say CD into GCC 452. We'll say clear. First, we have to tar uh, JXF um, a package called MPFR. Okay. And we say then move MPFR 3.0.0 to MPFR. Okay. And use your up keys, it'll help, it'll scroll back a little bit, okay, so you can use them to do stuff instead of typing everything out all the time. It's not that we're lazy, it's just syntax errors happen when you type a lot. <laughs> and if you don't need to type, don't type. Please don't copy paste. Please don't copy paste, Jesus God, learn something. Um, move um, GMP to GMP. say tar zxf dash zxf we need to untar mpc and let's move mpc to mpc okay that section in the book is done um, we then need to make a directory for books gcc back up gcc tab, okay, I'll just remove the stuff here, and we'll say build, and cd up into gcc dash build, clear. Let's say we need to configure gcc, gcc452 configure, okay, new line, try to keep these as best as you can um, in line so you can check them on the fly say target equals dollar sign LFS underscore target uh, prefix equals tools okay new line we'll say disable uh, NLS disable shared disable threads Okay, we'll check this, we'll say, uh, don't want to do that, slash, oof, slash over R and shared, let's see if that's true, yes, and let's say E over B and disabled, okay, E over B and disabled, what, target, E over B, okay, that's good, new line, um, disable NLS, shared, Let's say disable, disable decimal float. Okay. And we have to say disable. Uh, I screwed that up. Disable shared, disable, it's supposed to be disable multi lib. But I can throw this at the bottom here. Multi. Multi. Okay, so instead of multi-lib being up top, we're just going to have it at the bottom. Let's see why that matters. 
Decimal flu. Flu. Decimal flu. Uh, multi lib. Okay. Um, let me scroll down. We'll say disable lib mud flap. Which is kind of new to me. Disable lib ssp. New line. Uh, disable lib GOMP Enable Languages equals C New line And we want to say with GMP dash include equals dollar sign present working directory forward slash GMP Okay And we want to say with dash GMP dash lib equals dollar sign encapsulate present working directory and we encapsulate GMP dot libs space new line okay and we will say without without dash people without dash klug no people no klug <laughs> it's not really people um I'm not really going going to go too much into depth about uh, what we um, are switching on and off okay or enabling and disabling you can read that in the book it says it better says it in the book than I can say but I'll point out some highlights but I won't go too much into depth with that so we can say make, make, install. Beware. Um, some packages only require make and then a uh, different type of, uh, you know, um, thing and then make install. So don't get in the routine of make, make, install all the time. But I will tell you that you can string them together with the double ands. Okay? But read ahead and see if that's possible. Because sometimes we have to do a case or it might be make, make, um, install something else or make something else, alright, so, that's that, I have 25 minutes, <clears throat> and I'm going to stop the video, and I'll pick you up in the next one.